Before we continue with this video, I want to, from the beginning, uh, mention a name that's been coming a lot in the comment section, um, in, in the videos, and so on and so forth. And that name is Daniel Hakikatu. Um, I want to be very clear that I got nothing but love for the dude. I have no reason to not. And um, the shaitan is so conniving that he will make you feel as if I don't like him. Maybe he doesn't like me. I don't know if he likes you or not. That's not my concern, and nor is that in my control. But just know personally, I have nothing against him, nor are these videos directed at him or at anyone. I just feel like I needed to clarify that because, you know, I say words and things in my, in my videos and people can often think that oh, I'm talking about someone. Like, stop behaving like that. Like, that's not cool. Whatever happened to making excuses for your brother and all, like, what happened to the basic foundations and fundamentals of our deen? A lot of you guys got at me because I didn't openly say what Omar Sin Imam was doing with shirk. That means I support him. Where do you draw these conclusions from? It's like because between what I said and what you thought, you built a whole story in between. Is that, is that how Muslims need to behave and be? I, I don't understand it. I, I personally, I don't understand it. This is completely ajib to me. It's unique. I don't get that. But don't think that I'm not a victim of the same thing. How many times do we make up stuff in our head? And then we actually ask the person, you clarify, you're like, no, that's, and if the whole thing was made up in your head. Way of life as Q, keeping it a hundred. Before we continue, this video is definitely sponsored and brought to you by Sindeed. Indeed. Just so you guys know that, like, uh, I just want you all to know, like, this is the part of the tracksuit that it comes with, right? But I've learned to just take the bottom piece and just wear it with whatever I want. And I got some Raptor 7s on. The 2002s or 2001 editions, not the ones that came out recently. They have a more charcoal -y. I digress. If you're not a sneakerhead, you don't really understand this or the, I don't know, but it's cute. You're going to tell me about Nike and then you're wearing his Air Jordans? So I'm supposed to burn my stuff? All right, I burned some Nike Yeezys. Don't get me started. I'm not supposed to burn all my shoes now. Come on now, bro. That was like for a video. I met it. I did it. I, in the moment, like now you want me to burn my entire collection? Cut it out, man. Seriously. So that, that was it. That's, I just wanted to clarify that, right? I, I don't want to continue on that. But I just want you all to think like you, you shouldn't be thinking that about people. You shouldn't try to like start drama or assume there's drama or something like that. I had an encounter with Daniel Hakika too. You know what that encounter was? I held the door for him at the, the Muslims of the World convention. I didn't even know who he was. I did, as I'm sure he didn't know who I was. And this is not an insult or a diss to him. I, I don't, I, I keep my head down and I work. That's what I do. I'm not in tune with what's happening in the world sometimes. Someone told me he was a speaker there. Then he got, I'm like, who's that? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm like, oh, I held the door for that brother. And I think I gave him salam, if I'm not mistaken. I must have given him salam. I can't remember. I can't remember, but I must have given him salam. I didn't know. Did I attend any of his talks? No, because I was talking at the same time he was talking. That's the reason. Not because, oh, <laughs> it's data hiking. No, <laughs> no. Where do people come up with these things? SubhanAllah. Because I didn't openly say what you did, Omar Sulaiman was a pagan ritual. And you, because I didn't do that, therefore that means I support him. How do you not know that my way of advising him is different than the standard way? But SQ, why didn't you think of that when you criticized MBS? Are you comparing those two? Let me ask you a question. When was the last time, be honest, Allah is your witness, be honest. When was the last time you maybe went for an interview or something? You got caught up in the moment and a woman extended to shake your hand and you shook it. Don't even play as if you didn't do that before. Don't even. Mm, 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 mm. Not taking it. I know you have. I've done it. Did I feel really crappy after? Yes. Oh, subhanAllah. Was I nervous before the meeting about the shaking of hands? Say that ain't truth. Men, if you are out there, if you're a brother out there who has real, like you try your best to not touch women and shake hands with women, which I believe all of you are out there doing that. You're not purposefully doing it. How many of y'all, be honest, be honest. 
had stress, anxiety when it came to interviews or tough situations that encountered the opposite gender, even in school or whatever, because sometimes they extend to reach a hand and you're afraid to say how to say no. It's happened to us. You get caught up. Is it not? This is what I mean by making excuses, but not like defending. Okay, what you did was wrong, but now can we see another perspective for a second? Maybe he got caught up. Maybe that was like his version of shaking hand. He said in his Facebook thing that he was sorry last time I checked. When a person says they're sorry, it means they're sorry. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Last time I checked, when I say sorry, I mean I'm sorry. I didn't know it meant that you're not saying sorry enough. I don't believe you're sorry. I'm mean, you sincere. I thought Allah knows how sincere I am. I didn't know I had to prove it to everyone of how sincere you have to be. Oh, subhanAllah. How difficult we've made the deen for ourselves. Now, okay, make the deen difficult for yourself. If that's how you want to roll, go ahead. But why have you made the deen so difficult for other people? It's like you're projecting your ill feelings, your strictness onto others as if others have to do the same thing. I'll tell you a true story. Maybe some of you can vibe with this. I remember when I first started practicing the deen, I was going so hard. Not that I'm not going hard now, but try to understand what I mean. I was going so hard that everything my mom was doing was wrong. Correcting my mom, correcting my sister. You're not wearing the hijab, why aren't you wearing the hijab? Or if you are wearing the hijab, you're not wearing the hijab correctly. Correcting, 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 correcting. I, are you telling me, SQ, you're not allowed to correct? Oh, that's the problem these days, huh? These dyes, these Western lib... Listen to what you're saying about your Muslim brothers and sisters. Look how you've created a political divide between you. Muslim and politics, there's no politics in Islam. Look what you're saying about someone. Oh, those Muslim liberals, respect to the Muslim liberal, not those, those Western dyes who don't sell out. Listen to what you're saying. How is that different from people who talk about the rights and the left, oh, I said the rights this way, the right, the rights and the left, the Democratic parties and the Republican parties. How are we any different when we start behaving that way? Uh, some of you have already made your judgments about me. Only God can judge me. You think that's what I say? No. I believe that Allah has given us a rubric to judge ourselves. And it's our responsibility to judge ourselves and hold ourselves accountable. And when you want to correct someone, you find the best way possible to do it. That's if you're sincere about them changing. As a school teacher, I got to make corrections to my students all the time. There's certain corrections I got to do privately in their ear, bent down, kneeling to them. Oh, just in, just in case you're wondering, can a Muslim kneel down and speak to his students? I don't know, right? I'm not knowledgeable enough for that. But there's some mistakes that you got to just come down and talk to them. There's some mistakes you got to pull them out the class and talk to them. Hey, what's going on? There's some ways of correcting where we're on the Zoom call with everyone and I have to correct you then and there. Depending on how urgent it is, right? If someone is making noises in the Zoom call, hey, 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 bud. Hey, hey, bud. Can you please stop doing that? That's a correction in the moment. I have to, and even then, I have to know how to correct him in that moment. What tone I should correct him in that moment. Getting my Sindeed pants dirty. You know what I enjoy about them also, guys? Is that they have that vibe as if they're falling off your backside. But they're not falling off your backside. You know what I mean? Like they're all the way up over here to where like pants are supposed to be. But the fit of them looks like they're falling down. They look super baggy but they're, but they're, they're, they're tapered at the bottom too for the kicks. I'm so listen, don't buy them. Link is in the description, but don't buy from them if you don't want to. But I'm just saying I'm wearing it, just letting y'all know what I'm wearing. And this is a regular, this is a Primark hoodie. This is a black Primark hoodie. This is a regular Koofy that's kind of dirty. I got a little watch on. I got some Raptor 7s on, and that's it. This is how it came to work today. This is how I do it. Some of your first videos with me was that Omar Salomon video right here. Like, oh, he looks like a rapper. I guess. I guess I do. I just dress how I want to dress. That's not the point. Man's working out in the back, working hard. I don't know if you can see it. Point is this. I don't know if there is a point. Did Omar Suleiman message me on Instagram? I think that's going to be the title of the video. Omar Suleiman messages me on Instagram. 
Orbis of the Mind DMs me on Instagram. Did he DM me? The answer is yes. I'll show maybe, maybe if I want to. I'll show a, a screen recording right here of the message I got from him. All right, that's all you need to know. Am I using his name to drive home a bigger purpose? Yep, I am. SQ, you're calling other people cloud chasers? Who am I calling cloud chaser? Anyone specific? Are you going to say or think the name that I think that you think you're thinking about? But I thought I clarified that in the beginning of the video. So when will you learn to just drop it? Let it pass. Let it go. Why are you looking for flaws? I think, and when I said that, the disease of hypocrisy, it's in our hearts. We're looking for wrong things in people. That's dangerous. Because imagine if Allah started looking for your flaws. Isn't there a narration? You guys are far more knowledgeable than me. Mahfkoro. All right? You guys are far more knowledgeable than me. Look it up. Look it up. We lose respect when we talk to each other. What etiquette is that? How is it that you can try to correct someone, but you're correcting them in the worst way possible? That's not directed at anyone. That's not directed who you think it's directed to. Say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Al-Rajim. Get that out of your mind. Read your adhkar in the morning, guys. Come on. Stop thinking about that. I'm saying look at the comment section. Look at the comment section of a video. Look at the things that they're willing to say about me to each other, arguing with each other in the comment section. You have no hosh, no regard for your brother or sister in Islam. And this is the point I was making before. We don't need David Wood. We don't need Apus and all these people attacking Islam when we are eating ourselves from the middle ourselves, like within our, that sounded weird. Reminds me of like worms eating the, the core of the apple. So on the outside it looks all good, but inside it's all hollow. We're a lot, right? We're the foam of the sea. So many of us. The companions are like, wait, 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 Messenger of Allah. You're saying there's going to be so many of us? Hooray! Hooray! Takbir! Right? The Messenger saw some saying, no, 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 no. There's going to be a lot of you in number. But in feeling, in action, in presence in presence, in, in, in value, you're going to be like the foam of the sea. There's a lot of you, but you hold no value. The companions are so shocked. They're like, oh, messenger of Allah, like, how can there be so many of us and we haven't taken over the world yet? Isn't that crazy that we haven't taken over the world? Because we're busy trying to figure this out. We're busy trying to figure this out. We're busy trying to figure me out, trying, trying to respond to a comment, trying to say something negative about me, me trying to say something negative about you, trying to say I'm going to unsubscribe. We're busy doing this to each other. But that's what we're busy doing. Is that right or wrong? I'll let you decide. I'll let you decide. I'm not a scholar. Never have I claimed to be. Just because, this, and that's the point I was saying earlier about the kneeling and all that. I know this video is getting kind of long, but get out. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. People message me, ask you, your videos are too long. Ah, baby, don't watch it. I'm unsubscribing. Why you got to tell me? You, you think I need to know about that? When people speak, there's only two places it comes from. A place of love or cry for help. So telling me that you're unsubscribing, what is that? A place of love or cry for help. Why? Why are you so angry? Because you're hurt. You're hurt. You feel like my words hurt you. You feel a sense of loss, like you lost something. What have you lost? What have we lost? Instead, what have we gained? So much fitna, isn't it? People messaging. People saying in the comment section, read them. Don't believe me. I'm not going to screenshot nothing. Read them. Find them. Brother, I've benefited from him so much, but I'm confused now of all the benefit I've had from him. And then someone's like, them. So you see, the first problem is that you trusted in them, not the Quran and Sunnah. You put your trust in the speakers. You put your trust in... No. No. Yeah, they might have done all those things. I agree with you, but it's true. We're really, really making the religion difficult for people. There has to be a better way of going about it. Is that a problem with Omar Suleiman? Go to that masjid in Dallas that he, 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 he's at. He's an imam for. Go ahead. Take your biggest scholars over there. Take your, 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 your researchers. Sit down with them. Sit down with them. They want it, they allow it to be recorded? No? Okay, then have a conversation with them. Have a conversation with them. Figure it out. Come to some type of common terms with them. Try to, try to figure this out. Express your, your outrage and your anger about what's happening. Correct them. 
They do. We need to be corrected. If someone's doing something haram, some shirk, something, they need to be corrected. But ask yourself, how should they be corrected? The Ahl al-Bayt, Hassan Hussain, the Ahl al-Bayt, the people's ears perk up, huh? Who? What? Where's he going with this? Is he Sunni? Is he Shia? Calm down. The Ahl al-Bayt, we need to love the Ahl al-Bayt. Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain, Hassan Hussain, radiallahu an. They see an older person making wadu incorrectly. They could have said, listen, we Ahl al-Bayt. We have the knowledge. We're, we're literally the blood of the Messenger Sallallahu You're doing wadu wrong. You got to do it like this. Khalas, finished. Finished. Khalas, right? That's not what they did because they had wisdom. Because they're the Ahl al-Bayt, <laughs> mashallah. They had wisdom. They respected the fact that they're speaking to an elderly. They're speaking to someone older than them. They weren't arrogant. And this is not me calling. <laughs> SubhanAllah, I'm not going to even. This reminds me of like when people put words in uh, Westbrook's mouth. I'm in a great mood. You know why I'm in a great mood? Because the Nuggets smacked the Lakers last night. That's why I'm in a great mood. MashaAllah. My man Jamal Murray cooking on every cylinder. Jokic doing Jokic things. Come on now. You don't watch basketball? I love basketball. Look how many things we have in common. You don't like me? Cool. Like basketball? Cool. We both can talk about that. They went up to him. And they made it seem like they're having a debate between each other of who's doing wadu correctly, who's doing it incorrectly. One is saying you do wadu like this. The other one is saying you do wadu like this. Can you come and look at us to see who's doing it correctly? The man saw both and he chose the right one. And that man actually secretly learned that he was doing it incorrectly the whole time. Look at the wisdom of how, I, how they corrected them. Could it have been? Yo, 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 yo. Ayo, ayo, my man don't know how to do wudu. <laughs> my man don't know how to do wudu. You, wait, you call yourself a companion? Wait, 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 you were alive during the time the messenger saw something? Wait, wait, time, time. You call yourself someone of knowledge around the Ahl al-Bayt? Cut it out, bro. You can't even do wudu. Wisdom. You know how to correct, when to correct, what tone to correct in. How to speak to people. It's an art. How to speak to people. Find the best way possible. I'm not saying people have it. This isn't directed. Once again, not directed at anyone. So please get that devilish thoughts out your head. This video is getting long. I'm about to end it. Some of you are wondering, is he going to speak more? Maybe, maybe not. Ask you, you need Islamic knowledge. You're right. We all do, don't we? I am a jahil. Aren't we all? If you don't think you're a jahil, <laughs> maybe that's your problem. I have no problem being called a jahil or consider myself a jahil because I believe I'm a jahil. Do you not feel comfortable with being called a jahil? If you feel uncomfortable with being called a jahil, maybe that's the heart of the issue, isn't it? I'm okay with being called a jahil. I enjoy it. I call myself a jahil all the time. I am. I don't know. That's what makes me a sponge and ready to learn. Because I am a jahil who admits how jahil he is. Guys, all right, it's been getting long. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I just make them every single day. <laughs> May I love us, you all. Check us over the other videos as well, too. Uh, or, or not. That's cool, too. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And when I say until next time, I mean until tomorrow. So maybe until tomorrow, I'm out.